Welcome to Invictus Motors for a review of this lovely Toyota IQ. It is on the 2013 plate and I think it's always best just to get into the driving of it and just would like to give you a bit of feedback in terms of what they are like to drive. Well firstly, the steering is extremely smooth and uh, precise. Uh, nothing like the smart cars because on the smart cars uh, they're not actually uh, they actually don't have power assisted steering so it's very hard to uh, turn cars around especially doing like three point turns or reverse parking or just generally on a day to day basis driving them and that actually brings me to, to the point of the past two owners of this vehicle being my aunt and my mum uh, my mum actually has arthritis, so she finds it very difficult maneuvering a heavy steering. So this Toyota IQ was absolutely perfect for her. And um, in terms of service history, it's got a full Toyota service history. Um, Albert, the last service was done by us. Um, it's just had another MOT, despite the MOT expiring in April 2022. Uh, we did another MOT on it because we've had a lot of interest on the vehicle and just want to make sure that it goes to a good home. Now we are at about 55 miles per hour and it's very comfortable. It grips really well, handles really well. There were a couple of potholes I was trying to maneuver around and it was doing a phenomenal job. I was very, very impressed and it's also quite easy to get this up to speed you know you don't have to work extremely hard getting this to speed and um, it's an easy car to drive you know I had a colleague of mine uh, who hadn't driven for a few years and uh, it's one of these cars that I put him in and took him out for a drive and he was like a master the minute you know he got onto it the minute he got into it so, um, you know, credit to Toyota for producing a car that is nice and easy and nimble to handle. Um, the power is readily available. Um, you know, when you need it, just press on the accelerator. I'm just going from about 50 to 60 in no time. Uh, even at the top end, it's quite amazing how much power uh, this small one liter engine produces. The gear changes are extremely smooth and soft, you actually don't feel it. Not like in a smart, you know, you're almost thinking, uh, you, you almost feel every single gear change. It's, 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 it's a proper clunk, not, not at all in the IQ. And I've just been playing around with the temperature controls and things, things, things like this uh, for the past a few minutes and quite easy to to, to, to control, you know, the fan speed, um, the temperature. Also, it's got the leather steering wheel with red stitching. Uh, it's a multifunctional steering wheel, so again, quite easy to, to work this out. Um, so, on now on the interior, uh, I mean, it's got a really nice tactile feel to it. Um, we've got buttons that makes it extremely easy, uh, you know, to uh, open and close windows and, you know, lock things up and you've got a cup holder here. Uh, because it's a, a keyless start, uh, I've got the cup, the key in the cup holder. It's got a lovely little glove box, you know. This is, this is the ideal runaround car whether that's for work or whether you need it for as, as, as a daily you know it will do its job phenomenally well um, I love this piano inlay effect here uh, on top of the dash uh, and the chrome around there and, and, if, and, and now from a practicality point of view uh, I mean this is a four-seater car you've got you know lovely two seats at the back so if you are carrying passengers you know just you can put them in there and you've got good head headroom as well at the back. It doesn't sort of slant down to uh, you know to not give you uh, head space. It does have it. And the seats at the back actually fold. Uh, you can see our camera gear is on it on, on the back. So hopefully this should you know neatly 
give you an overview of what it's been like to drive and me just telling you a little bit about what this car has been like so far. The other thing that's quite important uh, for me to mention here is um, we've got a, a digital speedo here. Uh, this actually gets its signal from the satellite, so it's very accurate. And one of the reasons this was installed was that, that the, main speed, uh, the, the main dial there, um, once it reaches about 50 miles per hour, uh, it doesn't read out the speed accurately anymore. Uh, I mean, it's read, it misreads it by maybe three or four miles. Therefore, um, we've got this digital one, which is absolutely accurate and easy to follow on the eye. Uh, and also, that, that main speedometer um, is, is, is quite difficult to um, quite difficult to read. And at times, if you've got the steering level um, at the height it is now, uh, you, you, you actually struggle to see 40, 60, 80 and 100. Uh, and this is, you know, uh, at a good eye level, I would say just slightly below eye level, you know, exactly where you'd expect it to be. So, important to remember this about this vehicle. On the exterior, it's got this two-tone uh, color scheme with 15-inch alloys. Uh, silver and a burgundy uh, color and I think it looks fantastic uh, it's beautiful um, uh, two owners ago this is prior to my mum being the owner uh, that second owner actually had the rear lights tinted and the top of the front lights tinted it's important I point that out from a cosmetic point of view it, it, it could do with a bit of body work on the uh, driver's side rear bumper and just in a couple of other spaces spots here and there but overall it's a good reliable you know mechanically perfect car the interior smells good and is clean and all the buttons and everything works excluding the air conditioning as it should so hopefully this has been a, an honest and informative review please do not forget to comment like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next one thank you very much bye bye